Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. It's an honor to have you here. Uh, so today I want to share with you a clip uh, from Jeff Prep, which is my prep class for the MPJE. Uh, it focuses on the federal law portion. And this clip is about the uh, DEA number verification. So there's a mathematical verification for DEA numbers. Now in practice, I don't think it's that useful because um, criminals are much more sophisticated than faking a DEA number. I mean, they can find DEA numbers somewhere. Uh, every prescription almost has a DEA number on it. So it's not really that useful, but it is something that the DEA wants us to be aware of and kind of, it's just one like little mathematical check to see if the DEA number is verifiable or if it's mathematically verifiable. So uh, it's very easy math and I talk about it in my Jeff Prep course and I'm going to share the clip with you. Um, so Jeff Prep is a course that I design. Uh, I'm a pharmacist that has been licensed in three states. So I have three current licenses in Maryland, uh, Delaware and Florida. And each time I took the MPJE, it got easier and it's and the, the reason I think you should use my course is because I put my face on it. A lot of the other um, prep courses or prep material, it's uh, hokey and you don't really know who designed it, but you know who designed this course, it's me. And um, you can look at my, some of my other work on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this uh, clip from, from my prep class. What's up everybody? So we're gonna be talking about um, how to verify a DEA number mathematically. So there will certainly be a test question on the MPJE about it. So I'll just show you, um, so you show you basically how to do it. So um, I have a sample DEA number and we're just gonna check to see if it's valid according to the DEA's formula. So our, our sample is BJ6, one, two, five, three, four, one. So, um, first thing is you add the first plus the third plus the fifth digit. That's your calc one, that's your first calculation. Then you add your second plus your fourth, plus your sixth. You multiply that by two. That's your calc two. You add these two numbers together. Calc one plus calc two. And the, um, the number in the ones place should equal the seventh digit. So we'll do it as an example. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So we're gonna add the first to the third to the fifth. That equals 11. So it's not, it's not rocket surgery. So this is the second, watch, watch me mess up now that I said that. The second to the third, see I'm messing up now. It's the second plus the fourth plus the sixth, and that's 10 times two equals 20. You add 20 plus 11, you get 31, and the numbers match, so it is valid. I don't want to thank you guys for uh, watching my, uh, that clip on how to, uh, how to verify a DEA number, mathematically verify a DEA number. If you want to learn more, uh, check out Jeff Prep. It's my, uh, it's my course and it's, um, it's $60 
and it is uh, everything you would really need to know about the federal law portion of the MPJ. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and check out Jeff Prep. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.